guys, today I wanted to share the story of how God died on the cross to save our sins. Since it's coming close to Easter, I thought this would be a good story for us to focus on in this hard time. And remember that he died for a reason. Okay, before we start with our story, I'm going to open us up in prayer. So, here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for always being there for us, for dying on the cross to save our sins, and for helping us with all our needs and all our, and not just all our wants, but what we need, and I just thank you for helping us, and in your name we pray, amen. Okay, so first it says start with the blue egg. So I'm gonna open up to the blue egg. Okay. In this egg, let's see what we're gonna, we're gonna find a donkey. And soon we will figure out why. Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village in front of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Unite them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say the Lord needs them and he will send them at once. The desire to Sorry. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put them and put on them their cloaks, coats. And he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. Matthew 21 1 to through three, six through eight. Now this starts with God. This is the story. This first verse was about them, God asking the disciples to help him get welcomed into the city. Here we go. Start over here. Next one. We are going to open the pink egg. And in the pink egg, egg, we will find silver coins. Now these aren't actual money coins, but these are fake coins. And the verse to this one says, then one of the 12, those name was Judas. I scurret, went to the chief priests and said, what will you give me if I deliver him over to you? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that moment, they sought an opportunity to betray him, to hand over his enemy, to his enemies. Matthew 26, 14 through 16. Now, you saw the coins, but the bad part about it is Judas, the disciple, did something bad. As he thought and as the disciples thought. But God has ways to his plans. That's how we can remember in this verse. Because Judas actually, actually did that for a good thing. Bad cause, good cause, bad thing. I know it's kind of confusing. Set that right there. Next one, we're gonna do the light purple. Okay. Let's see. In the light purple, we find a cup. Now let's hear the first. And he took a cup. And by he, they mean God, or Jesus. And he took a cup and went 
And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many of the forgiveness of sins. That is Matthew 26, 27 through 28. You know, it's strange that he gave a cup and said that was his blood. I mean, that kind of sounds gross to me, but I don't know about you, but ugh. But no, actually the cup was filled with wine. And Jesus said it was his blood. Not to lie, but to um, help people understand that if you drink this, it helped pe the disciples to understand he was gonna leave. And it was his gift of saying goodbye. His way of saying goodbye. The next egg is number four. We have the orange egg here. Now we will open it. Inside, we find a hand. I know that kind of sounds weird, but inside we find a hand. Whose hand? Well, we'll figure out. And these are actually praying hands. And they went into a place called the East Main. And he said to his disciples, stay here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John. Those were some of the disciples. And began to be greatly distressed in trouble and trouble. And he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful. Even to death, remain here and watch. Mark 14, 23 through 24. Now, praying hands kind of sound weird. Why would you put praying hands in an egg? An egg? These are actually Jesus' praying hands. Not real, really, but these would represent Jesus' praying hands. To know that he prayed before his last day on earth. But it's so cool that he really rose. And we'll get to that part later. The next one is the green, is the dark green, number five. Inside, okay, this is kind of a short verse. Then Pilate took Jesus and flogged, which means whipped him. That is John 19, 1. Let's see what we have. These are leather ropes. Wee-ya, wee-ya. Now you may be asking, why would they put ropes in an egg now? Because it showed that the soldiers whipped him and made fun of him. And Jesus, he didn't care because he was humble. That's something that's super cool. Okay, next egg, the yellow egg. Let's turn the page here. Yellow egg is number six. Let's see what we have. Oh my, this is metal, heavy. Wow, that hurts. Not actually, but I bet it did to Jesus. This is the thorn crown that got placed on Jesus' head got hurt where he got hurt and i bet his head wasn't feeling good might have had a bad hair day that day but who knows okay read this then the soldiers of the government took jesus into the governor's headquarters and twisted together a crown of thorns they put it on his head and kneeling before him they mocked him if you don't know what mocked means, it means like made fun of him. Like, oh yes, your royal pain and stuff like that. So this is not the best part of this, but we will see that in a moment. But Jesus is not an actual royal pain. He's actually a good person, a very good person. Okay, let's see number seven, the light orange egg. And so they took, oh, sorry, I didn't <laughs> open the egg first. 
here we have Metal Cross. Now most of you might know Metal Cross case died on it, but others maybe not, so yeah, I'll tell you. <clears throat> so they took Jesus and he went out bearing his own cross to the place called the called the place of a of the school, which Aramaic is called Golotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between. John 19, 16 through 18. Now it didn't say who those two people were. However, if you read the Bible, like me, you should know. Those two people beside him were thieves who had stolen and been bad. But Jesus said to the two thieves on either side of him, Come with me. Join me in heaven. When you die, if you believe in me, and if you ask for forgiveness, you will go to heaven. That's how us believing in God and asking for forgiveness leads us to heaven. One of them said, Okay, I do. I need forgiveness. The other one said, No way. I'm not going to believe you. You're just another guy like us on a cross but he wasn't because he was the savior the savior of all the king of all but people did not know that that only some believed him oh well, that's kind of sad okay next egg is the light green egg I wonder what this one is. It is a dice. You may be wondering, why, why, why a dice in there? Are you gonna play card game or something? You'll see the reason for it. <laughs> when the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments, which means clothes and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier. Also his tunic, meaning his robe, but the tunic was seamless, woven a piece from bottom to top, so they had to one another. Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who it shall be. It shall be. So what that they're saying, at the end, they're saying that they would grab a dice or whatever they had for a dice back then, and they would roll it, and the person with the lowest or the highest would get to keep Jesus' clothes. And you're wondering, why would they want clothes if they don't like him? Maybe they want clothes to just rip it up and feel happy about themselves. Maybe they just want it because they want it. No one really knows because it doesn't say in the Bible, but maybe someday we'd find out. Maybe when we're in heaven, we can ask these questions. Okay, let's go to number nine. This is the purple egg. Now, we're getting farther and farther through the story. Here I have with me a spear. Now you're like, oh, the message destroyed him with it. He didn't destroy him, but they did hurt him. And they tried to destroy him, but it took a while. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and the other who had been crucified with him. Which means the bad guys, the thieves. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, and they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. And at once there, there came out blood and water. You may think, why would water come out of a person? Actually, little science fact, we have quite a bit of water in us. We're kind of made of part water. Not completely, but kind of part. So, yeah. That is the spear that they used to stab him. One of them, I think they must have just gotten super angry that the others wouldn't break his legs, so they just But that's still not 
not a good excuse for them. There's no excuse for hurting God. Except for if you actually will forget this. Number 10, the light blue egg. Can't hear anything, so it must not be metal. We'll see. Woo! It is claw. Maybe thinking, is he like sleeping? Well, he is sleeping, but dying. But this is for a different reason. When it was evening, evening, there came a rich man from Arrhythmia named Joseph. That sounds like the Joseph that I was learning about. Well, anyway, Joseph, you might know him. I don't know if this is the actual Joseph. Maybe, maybe not. I'll have to check in the Bible. Named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus must be Joseph, a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean lined shroud, which meant cloth, and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. That is Matthew 27, 57 through 60. Now, this, they wrapped him up just to make him, I don't know why they might have wrapped him up. That might have been a thing they did in the old days. But they wrapped him up, wrapped it up in cloth to let him down to die. We are at the last two eggs. Let's see what we are dealing with here. 11. This egg. Oh, kind of heavy. Ugh. Ugh. Did Emma replace this with a rock? No. This rock sealed. Now you may think if you got one of these kits, they must have got it wrong. Why is there a rock in here? No. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended, came down. Descended, which means came down from the heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. Can you imagine clothing as white as snow? Imagine we've got a stain on that. Ooh. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. Matthew 28, 2 through 4. The thing that why the angel was worse, why the angel was making the soldiers scared is because he's so great and powerful and they're just human beings. We're not as powerful as God, as the people in heaven and as angels. We are meant to serve God, not be over him. I think that's a good one. So the, he rolled away the rock and said, nope, I can roll it away. And it must have been huger than, bigger than this because I can even roll that away like that. This has been bigger than this. A huge stone, imagine this bigger. And he rolled it away because angels have awesome strength. But God, he has everlasting strength. He can hold anything. Now we're at our last one. Hmm. And then it's this and this one. It's gonna be cool. Okay. Don't, maybe it's another claw. Nothing. Now the reason nothing is, you'll figure out. <laughs> Hmm. 
But Angel, said to the woman. But the angel said the, to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come see the place where he lay. Matthew 28, 5-6 Are you surprised that there's nothing in this egg? Because if you were... So was I. There's nothing in this egg because there was nothing in the tomb. Nothing left. Nothing. Now, did Jesus just drift off into heaven? He came back to see his people on earth, which is the cool thing. And actually, when, um, when she saw him, she was like, no, you're not. You're just a fake guy, I believe. Show, and then Jesus showed the piercings in his hands. She's like, wait, you are God. I'm so sorry. And that was the story of the resurrection. Thank you for joining me. Now I'd like to end us in prayer like how we started. Okay, let me close this egg. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the amazing things you've done. You give us signs. And even though we might be sad in the moment, we know you're always with us and it was for a good purpose. Everything you do is for a good purpose. I thank you for helping us with all our needs and just sacrificing your life for what we need instead of what you wanted. And I know that you wanted for us to have a good life and for us to live without, without having to go through the pain if back in the day we sinned. And amen. Thank you guys so much for watching um, the Resurrection Eggs. I am so excited to share this story. What this means to me is so fun. I, I love sharing the word of the gospel with other people. And I'm super happy I get to share it with you guys. Well, that's it for now. Bye.